Hello there, I'm Colts Productions, this is my real voice, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on gates. Gates are used in Roblox for mainly wiring, and only wiring actually. So, if you haven't seen my uh, Minecraft video, it's kind of it's going to kind of relate into this because Minecraft and Roblox are sort of alike. Now, I don't really want to get into that discussion, but let's just move back on to wiring. So, the first version of wiring, or gates is what I mean is an AND gate. What this is, is it requires two inputs in order to equal an output. So if I turn this on, it's only going to issue one input. Well, it needs two in order to light on that light. So if we hit two, it's going to turn on the light. Very simple, easy to make. The second one, the OR gate, looks a lot like the AND gate, except it's a little bit different. So say if you have a door, and you can't access it from the inside, what you're going to want to do is you want to use an OR gate because say normal doors you can't just put down one switch open up the door and walk inside and then close it and get out you're going to want to use an OR gate an OR gate allows you to have two inputs from two different places that will equal an output so if I hit this right here it's going to turn on the light but this is off so say if I'm entering a house and I want to open the door I hit this switch it opens the door then I go inside, turn off, the, I mean, close the door, and then see if I can't get back out. Well, I'll hit the switch that I have inside, and it's going to open up the door. So sorry if that doesn't make too, too much sense, but you'll figure it out over time because my explanation isn't that great, and I'm sorry. An inverter. What it is is the input is off, yet the output is on. So it's always going to have a signal that's going to be on. But if you want to shut off that signal, you hit the switch. It's going to tell the input that it's on, but it's not going to let the output on. So if you have like a light switch, and say you want the lights always on, but if you want to turn off the lights, you hit the switch up. The repeater. So it's kind of like a circuit. If I hit this, it's going to start flashing the light. So it's great for making stop lights or street lights and stuff like that. I don't really know how, but it's a good example. The delay. So if I pull up my con um, configuration tool, I can hit this, and I set the delay time to 5. The default is 1. So if I hit delay, the, um, the switch head to delay, it's going to wait a five, It's going to wait 5 seconds before it does anything. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. And pretty simple. And finally, hit the timer. I set this for five seconds, so the timer and the delay are pretty much the same, except that the, the timer actually displays the time. So if I hit it, five, four, three, two, one. But it also acts as a button because it only lasts for a while, a short amount of time. It doesn't last forever. But if you have a switch going to it, it's just going to keep turning it on and on and on. And that's basically all you need to know about um, gates. So, just to be clear, an AND gate requires two inputs in order to equal an output. An OR gate can be activated from two different locations turning on an output. An inverter ha starts off with no input and has an output constantly until it's been acted on. A repeater is like a circuit that keeps going. You've seen with the light. A delay is a, it allows you to delay the time between an output, so you can equal an in, so you can like put an in, in input and wait five seconds, and then you can output. Same goes for the timer, except it displays the amount of time you have left. So I hope you like this video. More tutorials to come, and um, yeah, just keep hitting those like buttons, and thank you for watching. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go.